Good morning and welcome to our daily prayer message uh, coming from our main courtyard here at our beautiful Carmel Mission Basilica. Uh, this morning I want to share with you another of my favourite poems by the great American poet Mary Oliver. Mary, as I mentioned to you before, died only last year at the age of 83. She won the uh, National Book Award and the Pulitzer Prize and in 2007, the New York Times described her as far and away this nation's best-selling poet. Her poetry often draws on her love for the natural world in her home state of Ohio and her adopted home of New England. And it is fitting that we uh, have a background of uh, grapevines, which will soon be producing grapes, and I know you will want to invest in this unique opportunity of buying a bottle of uh, Sarah wine from our Carmel Mission. But that's, that's in the future. But this poem, happily enough, is called Grapevines. Grapevines. What I have learned so far Meditation is old and honourable, so why should I not sit every morning of my life on the hillside, looking into the shining world? Because properly attended to, delight, as well as havoc, is suggestion. Can one be passionate about the just, the ideal, the sublime, and the holy, and yet commit to no labour in its cause? I don't think so. All summations have a beginning. All effect has a story. All kindness begins with the sown seed. Thought buds towards radiance. The gospel of light is the crossroads of indolence or action be ignited or be gone. This poem wrestles with the age-old question in spirituality. What is more important, faith or action? Prayer or works? Contemplation or compassion? In our Catholic faith, we believe that all are crucial to being a follower of Jesus Christ. If we do not pray, if we do not contemplate, if we do not spend our time growing our own faith, we may miss the opportunity to speak with our God, to experience His transforming love, and to hear His voice. If we don't take action to create the kingdom of God on earth, then we miss a different opportunity to follow in the footsteps of our Savior Jesus, who spent his time on earth healing the sick, comforting the broken-hearted, and lifting up the poor and the oppressed. Both faith and action are key ingredients to discipleship. And it is, of course, difficult to have one without the other. In the parable of the mustard seed, the, the tiny seed is planted its efforts turn inward as it grows into the largest, strongest bush in the garden. When it has grown large enough, it becomes a home for all the birds. Its action of caring for others has begun. But if it neglects its inward work, making sure that it remains strong, it may shrink or die, and the birds will once again be homeless. So also with our journey of faith. It is only when we take the time to grow the seed of our faith and to tend it carefully that we're strong enough for the work of ministry to which uh, Jesus calls each one of us. As always, if you have any prayer requests, I invite you to send them to Father Rodrigo and myself. Just go to our parish website, carmelmission.org, 
and press on that prayer request button and we will take your intentions with us during our daily prayers and Masses. Thank you.